Welcome back. We are here looking at the indices, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Wednesday, July 28, 2021. If you like to support the channel, you want to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button above to see our new videos, and we'll start by looking at the S&P 500. And as you can see, we did drop quite significantly. It was a basically a horrible day for the market. Nasdaq was down more than 2% at one point, but it did rally when it hit the major uh, support and this so kind of did the uh, S&P 500 as well. We have not reached the 20 exponential yet and it's kind of looks like we are going to touch the 20 exponential at least before going higher. That basically means that we will drop down towards roughly uh, 4,353 before going higher. Break below that, they have the 50 down here at uh, 4,271. And uh, that has kind of been the floor in this market. We can see it here, we can see it here, and so on. And I would kind of be surprised if we visited the 50 moving average this soon. More expect a pullback or a rally or basically a breakdown towards the 20 exponential and then continue up towards 4,500. Technically, indicators, we can see the MACD is flat, stochastic is becoming bearish, and the RSI is bearish at this point. So momentum is kind of to the downside. So that's why I expect. Uh, a continuation of this move before going higher. So let's look at the Dow Jones. So Dow Jones, very similar here. Um, 20 exponential is looking really, really strong. We can see it right there, we can see it here, and we are yet again probably going to go and test the 20 exponential before going higher. We are still in an uptrend. We occasionally have these uh, quite big moves of roughly 8 to 10 percent to the downside which is very normal but otherwise it's the 20 exponential that we are basically bouncing off and i would kind of be surprised as well if we saw a move like this um this early i wouldn't I kind of expect it in september where usually stocks uh, fall you can see it basically what happened last september which was an absolute nightmare is down here where it fell roughly 12 percent to the downside before recovering after the US election. Uh, we can see that the MACD is flat at this point, stochastic is also flat, becoming bearish most likely tomorrow, and uh, the RSI is also bearish at this current stage. So let's look at the NASDAQ. So NASDAQ did uh, fall towards support down here in the middle of the bullish band and then bounced. So we could see a retest of the middle of the bullish map, we could also see this drop even lower, something similar to this. I kind of don't think this is going to fall apart in towards the 50 moving average. Main reason for that is because uh, most tech stocks have at least released their earnings and they are fantastic for basically everybody. Google, uh, for Microsoft, for, for Apple, and, and also for Tesla that was there earlier, all of them fantastic earnings. So if this fall here was probably due to what is basically happening in China at this point. So, but these pullbacks have been highly bought into. So we're trading at for 14,887 at this point. And I still think that 15,500 is going to be the medium, uh, medium target here in the next, basically in the middle of August and probably up towards 16. Uh, in late August um, or early September before falling. Usually markets fall in September. It's a horrible, um, you can see basically what happened here. September fell off a cliff. And uh, yes, if you look at the technical indicators, we can see the MACD is bearish at this point. Stochastic is bearish and RSI is bearish as well. So if we break below the 20 exponential, then we can hit towards the bottom of the bullish bound or the 50 moving average is basically probably the bottom of this market, 14,230. So let's look at the German DAX. So German DAX it did fall all the way down towards 15,400 and give or take uh, 20 and then rallied. We're still right at the 20 exponential, kind of looks weak at this point, but this pull, pull back here or this rally here is kind of, um, kind of good sign for this market. So MACD is still bearish, Stochastic is still bullish at this point, and RSI is flat. So, well, they're not that helpful at this point. If we, we basically need to take out the 
previous highs here from Friday in order to basically go higher, break below here, then we could drop all the way down to the very bottom around 15,000. So let's look at the UK FTSE. So UK FTSE really fell off a cliff down towards roughly 6,932 and then rallied. Now we're at 7,000. And that is a massive sign. You can see we have an example here of a move like this and a move like that. What basically happens after these kind of rallies. And that's a very, very strong sign for the FTSE. I also see it here and so on. So kind of expected, uh, excited to basically what happens here. If you break above the 50 moving average, then we could go back towards the 7,200 for this market. MACD is still bearish, stochastic is still bullish, and RSI is flat at this current stage. However, break below here, then we could open the door to the to the 200 moving average. So let's look at the China 50. So holy cow! Um, yes, uh, I I think I said a few uh, last week that if we broke 300 moving average, we would drop towards 15. Uh, I should probably have said it's 14. Um, we went all the way down to 14.5k. Uh, At this point, we are very, very oversold. Um, we are definitely in an absolute collapse of this market. And it doesn't really look like the market cares. So nobody's really interested in basically jumping into this market. I have been buying uh, some of the some of the big companies that have fallen very rapidly the last uh, a few months like alibaba but but seriously when usually something falls this uh far it tends to pull back towards the middle of the bullish band and this is not a very serious pullback so i wouldn't be surprised if this had a minor pullback and then just continue downwards so chinese in interventions or the governmental interventions in the markets have definitely not paid off and uh, we are mostly going to have a crossing of the 20 exponential and 300 and probably also the 50 and the 300 in the next few weeks if this continues. And yes, this is not a very good sign for this market. It will eventually rally. Um, this can't go to zero. So at one point, it will basically rally, get this up towards probably 45 or something like that, and then continue um, continue lower. But this is not, definitely not a good sign for this market. I don't really have any positive things saying about this, except for that most likely major rallies will be sold into. So, hope you find helpful. If you want to subscribe and hit the like button and the bell button to see uh, new videos. And good luck and thank you very much.